This is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and I have another card to make for you today so let's just get started on it. Um, here's some of the supplies I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this Sunflower um, Crinkle Ribbon from Three Girl Jam. I'm also going to be using um, this Happy Birthday set um, from TPC Studio and the stamp that I'm using goes right here and it actually says May your day be filled with sunshine, smiles, laughter, and love. And that's, I chose that one, but I'm not doing a birthday card. But we'll find out more about that in a minute. I'm also using um, my 12 by 12 princess papers. Um, and the, one, the ones that I'm using in this one is this page right here, this Beauty and the Beast page in this yellow. I also, from Die Cuts with a View, am using this simmer, Shimmer Stack. Now, I don't know if you've seen this stack, but it is beautiful. Every, all the papers in it are shimmery and bright. And actually, probably the best color to use on it would have been this kind of marigold color to go with that paper, but I decided instead to use the blue. And I'll show you that in just a minute. And then um, I'm going to be using my Elegant Edges Cricut cartridge. And on page 26, there's the oblong um, frame and I cut out um, both the frame itself or it's not even a frame but the uh, oblong mat and um, it's got little hearts on it and then I also cut out its shadow piece to go behind it and so um, let's get started now the paper that I'm using for the card base today is my vintage cream cardstock from paper tray ink so let's get started uh, as usual with the inside of my card now I know that this is a pretty um, dark difference between the two colors but the reason I chose this is um, I cut out the beast and I fussy cut them now um, on a previous video I did some fussy cutting and we I mentioned that these papers are really thin and so I mounted it on a piece of scrap paper um, and then I fussy cut it so that it would give it some um, strength and durability so this is a piece from that and this is where I'm actually going to stamp my sentiment today and I'm just going to simply stamp that in black and so let's go ahead and get started with that. I'm using just my plain black Excelsior ink pad and I want to really ink this up well without rocking it and I think we're going to put it at the top here. Just kind of eyeball it and center it at the top. At this camera angle it's kind of difficult to tell if it's straight but it is good perfect so let's set that aside now I know that I am going to run out of ATG gun very shortly so um, I'm going to just go until I run out and then I'll pause the video I knew it was going to run out if I would have known it was that soon I would have just changed it I will be right back after I change my ATG okay so I'm back and while I was off camera I went ahead and mounted um, the inside and so there we have now the blue mat I didn't tell you was actually at five inches by um, or five and a half inches by four and then the yellow was at three and three quarter inches wide by five inches tall so there we have the inside may your day be filled with sunshine smiles laughter and love now if you know me you know that typically I don't tend towards cartoon type cards for adults um, and this is actually an anniversary card but the reason I chose this the niece and nephew that I am sending this particular card to actually um, were engaged following a theater production of or sometime the night of a theater production of Beauty and the Beast and um, my nephew had taken my niece to see Beauty and the Beast and sometime during the course of that night he proposed to her and so that's why I chose this one now I already see that in talking I've made a mistake because I wanted to put my ribbon there so um, we'll have to come back I'll have to play with that and decide what I'm going to do now 
this is the mat that I cut with elegant edges. Now this paper, as I've mentioned, this hot off the press paper is scrapbooking paper and it's extremely thin and it did not cut well in my Cricut at all. In fact, I almost didn't use it but I decided I was going to go ahead and use it. I think it's going to look okay. I think the hearts that didn't cut well um, because of the thinness of the paper, I think will be okay because I think that the image of, Be of Belle and Beast will pretty much cover it. So uh, again, I used the Paper Tray Ink Vintage Cardstock to cut my base and I cut this at four and a quarter inches tall. And so let's just mount that on. And both pieces are cut at four and a quarter inches. Um, the real dial size is off. It's just the regular um, size and it's at four and a quarter inches here. And I think I want to go that way. Let's just look at it here. There's a lot of extra room there. I think that shows, this direction shows the least amount of trouble with my hearts. So now, what should we do here? My original plan was going to be to wrap this around and tie a bow on the side. Um, so let's just open the ribbon and just play with it and see what we're going to do. Um, uh, we could, let's just see. This Three Girl Jam ribbon is just beautiful. I love it. I use it frequently. Um, I try not to hoard it, although I'm pretty good at doing that too, um, because it's just so pretty. I love this ribbon. It's just an absolutely gorgeous, um, it, it just does so nicely on cards. You know what I think I'm going to do here is just tie, instead of tying a bow, well, maybe I'll tie a bow here on the side and see what it looks like. My thought was instead of tying a bow, maybe I would just tie a knot bow and just let it kind of drift off the side. And actually, that's pretty just like that. So let's go ahead and cut that off. This ribbon ties beautifully. It's just a very pretty ribbon. And I noticed, I was on their website the other day and she has some patriotic red, white, and blue ribbon. Beautiful stuff. Um, just gorgeous. And I know they're doing a blog hop, or probably by the time this video is on, the blog, blog hop will be over. So let's go ahead and maybe, instead of centering that, I think maybe I'm just going to pull it down a little. No, we'll center it just like that. And my original plan was to pop dot that, um, but since... I didn't get the ribbon on it correctly. I think I'm just going to go ahead and mount it flat down and then we'll pop dot Beast and Bell on there. So let's just center that. Now this shimmer cardstock, the blue in the background, um, as beautiful as it is, um, it I didn't want to stamp on it because I was afraid that it would be too um, slick and there's really not room by the time I get my beast on there anyway. Now I'm going to pop dot or you know use dimensional adhesive for my um, bell and beast. So let's just put them on the side. Again as you can see from the writing I make full use of my scraps whenever I can. Um, that's what they're there for and we can just reuse them. And then some of these are going to have to be cut because they're just a little bit too wide for his feet. And this is a pretty substantial image. It was not difficult to fussy cut him, well them, at all because there's just, it, it was substantial enough that I could just go ahead and go around and, and fussy cut it with very little um, there weren't really tiny edges and pieces. Now I've mentioned before I don't own any of the Princess Disney cartridges. In fact I believe the only I own um, Best of Toy Story or Best of Pixar and Toy Story I think are the only two Disney cartridges I own and I have to say they're not my favorite cartridges because there are so many tiny pieces. Leave a comment um, below and let me know if the Princess cartridges um, have the same issues where you have lots of little teeny tiny pieces that you have to layer up 
because that's what I've noticed with like my Monsters Inc. and stuff. And I just frankly don't have the time to do that. And I just, it never turns out right for me. So I prefer not to. So there we have that. And I think that there's one more thing I could do to make it to kind of take care of some of the emptiness in the, these corners. And so I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did is I grabbed my perfect my liquid pearls in bisque from Ranger, and I am just going to put some pearls right in each corner. Now, I am definitely not an expert at this process. It's not something I've practiced much at. I um, was really hoping I had some yellow pearls, and I didn't, so we'll just make our own, right? So even if they're not perfect, that's okay. It's still going to be a beautiful card. So I'll just kind of drop those down there. They seem like they're maybe a little bit thicker than they should be. But I've noticed with these before, if you kind of tap them and then they do kind of settle as they dry a little bit. So we have our card here. Um, on the outside we've got Bell and Beast and on the inside it says may your day be filled with sunshine, smiles, laughter, and love. So thanks so much for stopping by today and check back soon for more fun projects. Have a great day.